So it's widely known that hamstring development or very strong hamstrings are absolutely essential for on-court athletic performance. But arguably more importantly, they're also essential for preventing or reducing the risk of injury, particularly at the knee and the lower back. Under normal circumstances, you might be in the gym or training facility performing a wide variety of strong hamstring exercises such as good mornings, heavy Romanian deadlifts, glute ham raises, and various forms of leg curls. But whilst you're at home under the current situation, you may not have access to that equipment. So I'm about to show you a number of ways in which you can still develop strong hamstrings whilst you're at home. The first exercise is a variation of a Romanian deadlift and for this you just need a little bit of weight, say for example two relatively light to moderate dumbbells or perhaps a paint bucket filled with water. It's a unilateral variation in that you're going to take a split stance so your rear leg is there for nothing other than support. The key cues for this exercise is to hinge at the hips by driving your hips or your glutes backwards until you experience a significant stretch in the hamstring of the leg that's in front whilst maintaining a neutral spine. During the concentric element, you're gonna drive your hips forward, but you're also gonna try and achieve a little bit of posterior tilt by engaging the glutes. This will help maximize the contraction of the hamstring by shortening it. The second exercise is a very similar variation, but this is a bit more bilateral. Again, it's a Romanian deadlift variation, but in this instance, you're going to use a resistance band for your main source of resistance. The thing that I like about the resistance bands is that the intensity or the resistance increases as the concentric aspect of the rep develops. I would argue that the exercise in this instance gets harder and more intense as the joint angles become more sport specific. Again, the key cue is to push your hips back as far as you can. Don't just lean forward, push your hips rearward as far as possible until you achieve a stretch in both hamstrings. From here, drive your hips forwards by engaging the hamstrings as hard as you can, and then contract your glutes at the top to achieve a little bit of posterior tilt to help shorten the hamstring and maximize that contraction. Now the third exercise is a variation of a leg curl. So whereas the previous two exercises have all been about hip extension, this exercise is all about maintaining hip extension whilst flexing at the knee. You're gonna need a couple of things for this. One option is getting access to a set of sliders, which you can pick up from Amazon for around nine or 10 pounds or dollars. A cheaper option is to get yourself some dollies and these dollies are for normally carrying around furniture. You can pick these up from either Amazon for two or three pounds or dollars, or you can go to a DIY or hard store or pick them up there too. Alternatively, you can just put a pair of socks on your feet and use a slippery surface, such as a hardwood floor or a tiled floor in the bathroom or kitchen. This exercise is relatively simple, but the main thing to focus on is that you try your best to maintain full hip extension at all times. A common error with this exercise is for people to let their hips drop as they extend and contract at the knee joint. Keep your hips high whilst slowly under control, extending at the knee, stretching your body out as far as you can, and then engage your hamstrings as hard as you can to then flex at the knee all whilst keeping your hips high. Fourth exercise is a progression of that leg curl. In this instance, we're going to emphasize the eccentric element on one leg. This is known as an accentuated eccentric in that we're gonna be doing the concentric on two legs, but we're gonna be doing the eccentric on one to emphasize the intensity in the eccentric phase. Set yourself up on two legs, extend your hips as high as you can, similar to the previous exercise. 
This time, however, the eccentric element is done on one leg. So you're going to lower yourself down as slow as you can, all whilst keeping your glute contracted to help keep your hip up. Once you've fully extended at the knee and the hamstring can no longer stretch any further, engage that hamstring as hard as you can, but assist with your original resting leg to get back into that starting position. Final exercise is a very common one, but something I think people forget about from time to time. This should be a season long, year long exercise that's included within your program. And that's the Nordic hamstring curl. All you need for this one is perhaps a partner to hold your ankles down or better still, you can do it by yourself by just wedging your feet underneath your sofa. If your sofa isn't heavy enough to hold your weight, then just get a couple of weights on top of the sofa or perhaps even get your friend or partner to sit on it to weigh it down. The key with this one, once again, is to keep your hips fully extended. This is an eccentric focused exercise. And I will add that if you can do the concentric element, then this is not intense enough. For this exercise to do its job, you should only be able to sustain that eccentric element for so long. This is incredibly intense and it's designed to help develop eccentric control and strength of the hamstrings. You've got one job and one job only, and that's trying to lower yourself as slowly as physically possible. You want to reach failure on every single repetition here, so at some point you will have to catch yourself because the idea is, is that you fall. Perform what effectively is an explosive press up to return back to the start position and go again for a number of reps. large number of exercises similar to this so we can develop hamstring strength. So I'll post another video similar to this in coming days and weeks. If you like this video and you'd also like to see more, perhaps you have a particular joint or muscle group in mind that you'd like me to do a video on, then please do comment in the box below and I'll be more than happy to create a video similar for this for the specific issue you've raised. As always, hit the like button, please do subscribe and if you want to be notified of our next release, please do hit the bell icon next to that and I'll see you soon.